Um, alright, so today I'm going to show you how to do kind of like, it's like half form validation, half form styling. It's a little bit of each. Alright, so basically what I'm going to show you how to do is, let me show you here, it's with patterns. So, um, see, what I have is, when the, when the field is invalid, the text and the cursor, or not the text, the, the text is red. When it's valid, it's, um, it's green. So let's say in here in the age, if I put J, it's red. But if I put, like, 55 or, like, 80, it's green because it knows that's a number. So, like, here, if we go HTTP, or, you know, I'll do it on the email field first. So we go to email. Let's say I do real tidy at Gmail, and I just do that. See, it's red. But now if I go to Gmail dot com then it is um then it turns green like here um see it's green here again and then here see it turns green and let's say I put accidentally put a letter then it turns wrong so, and, um, how we do something like this is if we scroll down, see, I have, first, I have the required attribute, because I want this field to be required, and then I have a pattern right here. This long pattern is for an email. Basically, what it says is there has to be a certain amount of, um, there has to be words, or one sec, and see, like, if we go, like, Right. So basically what it's saying is there has to be something here. So there has to be some type of text here. And then this thing integrates. That means the start and the end of input. So before this add sign it's saying there has to be some type of text, the numbers, um either numbers or letters, no special care uh, or dashes or dots um, or underscores then it's saying you have to have the at sign then it's saying anything a to z one to nine dash it and dashes okay and then in here <coughs> <coughs> sorry it says um, there has to be a dot and then it has to be certain thing it has to be um, dot. It can't be one letters. It has to be minimum two letters. And this also will work for like, let's say you have a code at UK. So if you go like Jason at Jason dot code, that's that's valid. But now if I add a dot, I have to also do U. You have to have double so UK. Um, and this right here also works with HTTPS. Uh, like if it's a YouTube. Alright. And this is done. Um, there is not there's no JavaScript, no PHP, um, no jQuery, even though that is JavaScript, but um all it is is just HTML and CSS. Alright, now let me show you the CSS. Alright, so basically up here we just have like our fonts and all the inputs, you know, what you want the inputs to be styled like. Then here we have the hover. Here we have the focus. Alright, so here's where we get the invalid and the valid. So I go form with a class of contact, input, it has to be required, and invalid, and then also a texture that's required and invalid. I want the color to be red, and I do the same things so valid. Um and text area valid is green. So what I've done is, if we go to required right here, see we have this. I have the same. So I have the pattern up here, and this will be it, this will be in the in the description below. Um, we have this download link, and then we have um, the download link. We have, I mean, not the download link. We have this big submit button. Um, now I don't have this submitting to anything. Alright, so if we look at the code, first of all, up here, I just have all the style element elements. 
Then I have for you if you can grab an external style sheet or um, some JavaScript. And we don't really need any of this stuff right here. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out all this extra code. Um, don't want that. I want to keep that though. Alright. And save this. And now if we go back here, see we just get this simple. But we still get the text color. That's all we really need for this. And, um, yeah, so, um, I'm going to, so basically, if we look, let me just make this a little bit more, so you can, um, see it more. So basically, what I'm saying is I have just some, in a paragraph text, I say, alright, so here's the pattern, and this is for email, and then, for the code for the input, we go input, type email, pattern, and then here's the pattern again, same one that we had before, and required attribute. Now, and actually, I'm just going to take out that code right there, just because you might not have that to make it easier for you to. The reason I had that on my other one is because um, in my site, I need multiple... Um, multiple forms and so I need to do that so basically and then here and then required and then I do the same thing here except this is for a URL so type URL and then we have just a different pattern and you can also if you want you can also be able to do FTP or any of that all you have to do is add that little symbol right there I don't remember what it's called and then you can add whatever one that means or okay and then here we have so it's colon slash slash and then dot um, a to z lowercase z to a capital because you can't have a a number a digit in a dot extension in a TLD or a CCTLD. Um, and uh, um, I do not know if this one's like. Let me see. Does this allow? Dot code? This one does not allow. Um, second level, I mean, um, like second level domains, like jailbreak dot, I'm, this isn't my domain, I don't own json.com, but see, we can't, anything like this, well, actually, let me see something, okay, so it actually does allow second level domains, alright, so, let's go back to the code, so here's the pattern. Now let's say we wanted to not have it required. Then what we have to do, I'm pretty sure this works. Delete it. Or actually was like before we do that, let me do one thing. Let me show you this in Chrome. Because right now it's just letting me like if I put some text here. It's letting me submit it. But let's open it up in Chrome. See if I hit submit, it says, Oh, please fill out this form. And now if I start adding it, please enter an email address. Or here, if I hit Let's add it. Let's enter an email address. Um, unfortunately, without JavaScript or anything, you can't check that the email exists or the URL. You can just make sure it's the right pattern. Um, so, and then I hit submit. Um, please fill out. And the thing that's nice about this, without doing any JavaScript or anything, see, this stays up here. So, please fill out this field. And if I just, please enter a URL. And if I go like, and let's say I go, let me hit submit so we get this. Alright, let me just do Google. Google.com. And please enter your email HTTP slash slash www.google. Dot com. Hit submit and it just clears it out. Um, now let me show you without the required attribute. I'm pretty sure you can do it. I'm not positive. Let me check. So let's just delete these required. And you will need to change the CSS. So I'm just going to rewrite it so we still have the other one. Input. Valid. I'm not going to have, we'll do the text here. Text 
area. Green, no copy. No invalid, invalid, and I'll make it red. Okay, so now, all right. So yeah, um, it doesn't work. See if you look, everything's just turning green, and it's always green no matter. Well, actually, wait one second. Let me see something. Why? Okay. Valid. All right. So, and then you'll also want to when you're styling your button. See, let me see something. So that's valid. On. See, these are both. All right. So let's just open this in Chrome. Let me explain. All right. So if you look, I don't know if you can see here. Let me try and zoom in. See, it's green. Um. And that's not really what we want right now. We, well, see, this is without the card. But now, if we start to type other letters, it gets all wrong. So let's try gmail at gmail.co.uk. And I guess it does work. And let's try for it. Website. Roll.com. Submit and everything works. And let's say I enter a wrong one. And a wrong one, I hit submit. And we get this. And we still get the little alerts. We just don't get it if there's nothing on it. Like if I refresh it and continue. And it, submit, it lets me submit because the fields aren't required. So um, I will, um, the one that I'll give you, I'll have, um, I'll make it two different forms. One we're required with required fields and one without it. And um, I won't give you my, um, I won't give you the style sheet. Well, I'll give you this style sheet, just not the one. I won't give you this style sheet so your form can look like this. Um, right here. Uh, because you guys probably already have your own styling sheet. And, um, another thing that I want to mention is this process that we're doing right now, it does not work in, um, Internet Explorer or, um, doesn't work in Internet Explorer or Safari. It only works in um, Chrome, Firefox, or um, Opera or Opera. However, I like to pronounce it Op or Opera, but some people pronounce it Opera. Um, yeah, and um, all right. I think that's it for this tutorial. All right. Thank